today I will discuss about optical center of ophthalmic lens and prismatic effect. Introduction When light rays pass through the optical center of the ophthalmic lens, it does not bend but travels straight through. But if light rays pass through other points of ophthalmic lens, then it will bend and will create prismatic effect. Now the question is what is optical center and why rays don't bend when pass through the optical center? To understand this, first we need to know how does ophthalmic lenses are made. Ophthalmic lenses are made up of prisms. When we join two prisms apex to apex, a concave lens is formed. And when we join two prisms base to base, then a convex lens is formed. The junction of these two prisms is called optical center and has no prismatic effect. That's why when light rays pass through the optical center of the ophthalmic lens, rays go straight without bending. You might be thinking, how does prismatic effect is created when optical center is decentered? Normally, when spectacles are made, the lenses are positioned so that optical center of the lens will line up or superimpose with the center of pupil or visual axis of the eye so that no prismatic effect is created. When a minus ophthalmic lens is decentered nasally, it creates base out prism effect and if decentered temporarily then a base in prism effect is created. In the figure you can see when a minus ophthalmic lens is decentered nasally, the central rays are passing through a prism that is base out. And when a minus ophthalmic lens is decentered temporarily, the central rays are passing through a prism that is base in. When a plus ophthalmic lens decentered nasally, it creates base in prism effect and if decentered temporarily, then a base out prism effect is created. Here in the figure, you can see when a plus ophthalmic lens is decentered nasally, the central rays are passing through a prism that is base in. And when a plus ophthalmic lens is decentered temporarily, the central rays are passing through a prism that is base out. Now another question comes. Can we calculate the amount of prismatic effect created by a decentered ophthalmic lens? Yes, we can calculate the amount of prismatic effect of a decentered lens by Prentice's rule. Let's see in the next slide. Prentice's rule. According to Prentice's rule, the amount of prism induced by decentered lens depends on the power of the lens and the distance of optical center is displaced. The formula to calculate the amount of prismatic effect is P equal to H multiplied by D. Here P is prism diopters of displacement, D is the dioptic power of lens, H is the amount of displacement of optical center in centimeters. For example, if the lens power is plus 2 diopter and the optical center is displaced by 6 mm, what will be the induced prism? Here D is equal to 2 and H is equal to 6 mm or 0.6 cm. So the amount of induced prism is 0.6 multiplied by 2 or 1.2 prism diopter. Remember, higher the power, higher the prismatic effect. Now another question comes, as decentered optical center create prismatic effect, can we use decentered ophthalmic lens as a prescription prism? Yes, let's see in the next slide. The optical center of the lens has no prism. So if a lens prescription calls for a certain amount of prism, then optical center will not be placed in front of the wearer's pupil center or optical axis. Instead, a point on the lens where the amount of prism equals to the prescription is chosen. This new point on the lens is now the point of major importance or we can say the new optical center for this particular patient. Geometrical center versus optical center. Remember, geometrical center of lens and optical center of lens is not same. The geometrical center of the lens is the point on the horizontal midline halfway between the two lens bordering vertical lines. And the optical center of the lens is the junction between prisms where there is no prismatic effect. 
Depending upon patient's IPD and position of the frame on patient's nose, optical center may be anywhere around the geometrical center of the lens.